This is the Subzuka 5000. It is 10 and a half pounds of party. There are a few reasons why I call this a party speaker. It is huge. It is flashy. It is loud. And it has karaoke. What makes this thing so loud? A two inch tweeter, two five inch woofers, and a ported enclosure. This is 40 watts RMS and it can be painfully loud. Does it sound fantastic and accurate? No, but you're at a party, it's crowded, who cares? What makes this thing so loud? A two inch tweeter, two five inch woofers, and a ported enclosure. These may look like passive radiators, but no, they're just lights. Check out these huge, well-lit and chunky controls. They almost got it perfect. Check out these connectivity options. A USB-C charging port, a U-Drive port, TF card slot, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, and two quarter inch microphone jacks. This speaker has 12 lighting modes and off isn't one of them. This speaker has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. That's enough for seven hours of playback at 50% volume. If you bring this to a party, you should probably bring the charger. The Subzuka comes with a handy remote control and it's the only way you can do something, so don't lose it. For example, there is no button for the equalizer on the Subzuka itself. It's only accessible from the remote control. The term equalizer is kind of an exaggeration. I think you get three presets, vocal boost, bass boost, and flat. You can also use the equalizer to go to a direct track on your TF card or U drive. It's kind of a hidden feature, but this thing has an FM radio and there's no external antenna, but it doesn't seem to need one. Despite having dual five inch woofers, bass is not the strong suit of this speaker. I think it might have resonance issues with the enclosure itself, but if you're just listening to regular rock and roll, something crunchy like ZZ Top, you'll probably never notice. It's only if you're listening to deep, deep bass, dubstep, hip hop, uh, techno, that's when you'll notice. And if you're at a party, nobody's going to care. The Subzuka does support karaoke. It does have two microphone inputs and you do get reverb, but it doesn't come bundled with microphones. If you intend to use the Subzuka for karaoke, my advice to you is to buy microphones that have volume adjustments on them. Yes, you can adjust the volume on the Subzuka itself, but the implementation is not the best. And it just, I just found it difficult. If you have two identical speakers, you can pair them together in their implementation of TWS mode. They call it wave sync. I don't have two of these. I was not able to test that. I do not know what the limitations are, but it does support it. I like the Subzuka 5000, but I don't love it. It is big. It is loud. It has beautiful RGB lighting. It does support karaoke. For the price, it is a steal. This has got to be one of the best named speakers in the industry. There is nothing subtle about the Subzuka 5000. This is not a speaker you get if you're looking for the nuances of your music. This is the speaker that you get if you just want to turn it up. In that vein, I'm going to give this a three out of five stars. Not trying to talk you out of it. I just want you to know what you're getting yourself into. Thanks for stopping by.